Hey, what's up, you two? Mr. Double D Fit with BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Take a look today at the OtterBox Defender for the iPad. This thing is one tough case. I'm not going to drop it off my roof like others might, but I am going to show you a close up cam, all the cool, neat features of this. So stick with me and let's head on over there now. Thanks. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in Close Up Cam. I did strip my iPad out of this because I want to show you all the parts and I want to put it on for you. So let's go ahead and move some of these things out of the way. We're going to start with the hard shell. Now this is the main piece right here, the main component. It's got your Apple logo cover right there and it's got a plastic piece over it to protect that. On the inside here you will see it's got a nice soft felt and there it is, it's the frame. You see your home button's there and your light sensor is going to be up there. So let me go ahead and pull the iPad in. What we're going to do is we're going to install it just like so put the bottom of it in, slide it on down. It's a nice snug feel just like that. Flipping it over, looking at the Apple logo. We're gonna bring in the other piece, the top half that is all felt with the OtterBox logo embossed right there. I have no fears of this thing scratching up my iPad at all. You're gonna slide it over, it's just like a slider case. So let's go ahead and slide it down in. Get it nice and tight. I feel like it's on there, no problems whatsoever. Flipping it over, you see it's gone completely in. There's a channel around there. That's what's for the silicone. So let's bring in the silicone piece right here. Make sure we've got it in the right spot. You're gonna see it does have a floppy home button. This is one big chunky piece of silicone. It's got reinforced corners just like OtterBox always does. That's like an extra half inch thick corners so that if you're gonna drop it on the side, you got no problem. Let's go ahead and stick the iPad inside of there. It says in the instructions to do it in a clockwise formation. So let's go ahead and put it, the silicone on. There it is, simple as that. You flip this thing back over. You've got your one last opening. Now, let's start talking about the features of the case. You see this huge opening? OtterBox has designed it so you have the iPad dock. You can go ahead and pop it into place, and you can use the iPad dock with the iPad. They give you this included little cover right here. Simple enough to use. You just lay it down, kind of slide it forward, and you see it just pushes in. Here you've got your... Um, speakers cut out, but if you need to pull this off to dock it or whatever, you have to take this off just to even use the sync cable. I would like to see a little cutout here so you don't have, you know, if you're not, I don't have an iPad dock, so I don't really ever need to take this off, but it seems like an awful lot to take off just to plug in a little sync cable, but I can see how, why they didn't. So that's my one complaint there. On the back, your Apple logo's cut out. It looks like an OtterBox Defender. There's no mistake in this from the Defender iPhone case or whatever um, to, to the iPad. So on the, um, Front here, you're going to see the home button is nice and covered. It's really cool. I like it. It raises it up and everything like that. Up at the top here, your light sensor is recessed to in the plastic. It's got a plastic ring around it, just like the OtterBox. you got your screen shield on. There's no getting up underneath here. So you've got total protection from dust and whatnot. Your ports are covered up here for your headphone. Easy enough to get to. And your orientation lock is also just like that. Now you see I got these little dimples on the side. You say, what might those be for? Well, OtterBox threw in this sucker right here. This is the protective top. And you see it's got OtterBox embossed on it right there. All you do is you pop it in just like that. And now you are completely covered front and back. No damage to the screen or whatever whatsoever. Now, you want to take this off and you want to use it. You don't want this laying around. What does it do? It's flip it over and it stows right on the back. Just like that. So it adds a lot of bulk, guys. This thing makes the iPad two to three times heavier, but it feels tough. I mean, I'm like, I'm passing this thing around and, you know, able to do this and that and not worry about it, drop it. And this thing is like a brick, but I know I'm protected. The last really cool feature of the Defender and why I like the Defender so much is on this little back pad here, you'll see there's some stuff going on right here. There's a little lip. You put your finger underneath, you pull it up, and you see how this raises up? What this is, OtterBox is really ingenious. They made a stand, if you couldn't have guessed. And you stick your iPad in like that, it grabs these feet right in the for forward position, and it puts your iPad at an easy viewing angle. And it stays put really nice because of the silicone on the bottom. My only complaint is it puts it at a little bit too much of a recessed angle. I would have liked to have seen it kind of maybe sit up a little more, but hey, these are just nitpicks. For $90, guys, really a great value. I know it's expensive, and a lot of you younger kids are going to say, hey, I don't have a job, I'm a college student, I'm a high school student. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but if you've got the money or you've got some gifts coming in or whatever, 90 bucks 
doesn't seem that much. You gotta think, it was 50 just for an iPhone case, so add 40 more dollars, and you get twice the amount of material, twice the amount of protection. This thing's really great, and if you notice on the bottom here, they put these little rubber feet, so when you're in TV viewing mode or whatever, it's not gonna go anywhere, it stays put. So there it is, guys. I know I talked longer than I wanted to. I'm gonna, hopefully, you guys stuck with me. I don't do long videos, but I just had so much to say about this OtterBox Defender. Very cool case, I give it two thumbs up. It is my staying on my iPad case right now. Head on over to OtterBox, guys. They're popping up right there. They got this one and they've got a different one, the commuter. Maybe we'll review that one later. Check them out, guys. Thanks a lot, Otterbox. Thanks a lot. Head on over to buymeaniphone.com. Check us out. Links right there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Mr. Double D50, and I will see you in the next video.